Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Megan and today I'm going to be sharing with you my most recent library haul. So I'm quite well known for buying way too many books so I have been trying to use the library a lot more frequently. So I just thought I'd share really quickly with you guys what I picked up from the library recently. So as you know, I've been reading the Fruits Basket manga. Fruits Basket is the story of Toru Honda, who is a schoolgirl. She was being raised by a single mother, but her mother passed away in a car accident. So she has been living in a tent as an orphan because none of her family is really taking her in or taking it seriously that she's alone. So one day uh, she discovers this little house kind of where she's living and it ends up being her classmates house and she's taken in by them as she knows how to cook and clean and they don't and it is revealed throughout the series that they are possessed by vengeful chinese zodiac spirits and toru is on the hunt to figure out how to break the curse so it's a really, really cute story. I love it so much. There is a love triangle, but I'm not hating it. And I have currently read up to volume 15. So of course I had to get the rest of the volumes. So I have here volumes 16 through 23. So I will be completing hopefully the series in April. I also picked up the three volumes of the companion slash sequel series which is fruits basket another i believe there's only three volumes but this is following i believe our main characters and or our main characters children so i'm excited to get into this one as well next i picked up truth witch which is a story that my friend callum has been begging and hounding me to read He's not nearly as bad as I was trying to get him to read Renegade, so I'll give him that credit. Uh, but he has been pushing me to read this, so I finally picked it up from the library. And let's read what the synopsis is, because I have no idea what this book is about. So, it's on a continent ruled by three empires, some are born with a witchery, a magical skill that sets them apart from others. In the Witchlands, there are almost as many types of magic as there are ways to get in trouble, as two desperate young women know all too well. Sophia is a truth witch, able to discern truth from a lie. It's a powerful magic that many would kill to have on their side, especially amongst the nobility to which Sophia was born. So Sophia must keep her gift hidden, lest she be used as a pawn in the struggle between the empires. Isiel is a thread witch and can see the invisible ties that bind and entangle the lives around her, but she cannot see the binds that touch her own heart. Her unlikely friendship with Safi has taken her from life as an outcast to one of reckless adventure, where she is a cool, wary balance to Safia's hot-headed impulsiveness. Safia and Isiel just want to be free to live their own lives, but war is coming to the Witchlands. So, that sounds really good. I'm actually really excited for this. If you're watching this, Callum, I will definitely be picking this up very, very soon. I did purchase Wind Witch. I don't know what book of the series this is. I don't know if it's like two, three. I don't even know how many books in the series there are. I have this one for whenever I need to get to it. I do have it purchased. And then I have Truth Witch. So I'll be starting this sometime this month. Next, I got The Other Side of the Sky by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. A living goddess searches the skies desperate for hope. A crown prince falls to earth looking for answers, both destined to save their worlds or destroy them completely. So that is kind of the short synopsis of The Other Side of the Sky. This was, I believe, a Fire Nation creation or some small shop or something was doing this as a book club and I did not get to it in time but I still really wanted to read it, so here it is. <laughs> and I don't have the physical copies, but I did um, order Gemini, uh, Obsidio, and Memento as audiobooks to read with my uh, physical books. So I guess I have those physical books, but they're, I didn't prepare. So they're over there, um, but I'm going to read those alongside the physical books so that I can get the full experience of the audio with the music and the sound effects and all the cool stuff. And then also the physical format that has the maps and 
the briefing notes and all those sorts of things. And last but not least, I also do not have it in hand at the moment, but I got The Incredible Hulk on DVD because my parents and I are going through the entire Marvel Universe timeline order, so it's very exciting. We're at the Hulk right now. We did skip the Hulk and go to Thor because we've been waiting on this library hold, but now we're going to go back to the Hulk before we go to the Avengers. So that's kind of where my life's at right now. Um, yeah, so that's my library haul. Let me know what books you guys like to pick up the library or what books you have hauled recently from the library, and I'll check in with you in my next one. Bye, friends! Mm -hmm.